hey guys welcome back to the farmstead today we're going on a little road trip where are we going i don't know but we're making good timing We're just walking into Man Lake here and uh, Susie gave me a little bit of budget. Luckily there's not much to work with so it shouldn't be a, too hard to do but let's go down and see if we can find a couple things that we were uh, looking to do for the YouTube channel. Are you the Mr. Manager? I am, I'm Frank. I'm Greg, Frank. Great nice to meet, to meet you. you. Welcome to Man Lake, Pennsylvania. Well, thanks, Frank. This is my first time uh, here at the, at the Man Lake. Uh, most folks want to ask, how in the world do you actually say the name of this town? Wilkes-Barre. <laughs> Wilkes-Barre, not Wilkes-Barre, not, not Wilkes-Barre. Wilkes-Barre, Wilkes-Barre. Wilkes so yeah. now, now you know. Well, Frank, this is the first time in here. Uh, maybe show me around a little bit on, on things that you guys, you think you guys do well, especially here in Wilkes-Barre. Well, if you take a look down here in the store, we've got pretty much everything laid out in where it makes sense, like products, who like products, you know, with, be, in our, be it our suits and veils and jackets, down to our glass and our woodenware. And of course, being the largest beekeeping supply company in the world, we're well stocked. Even with the uh, supply shortage we've seen, we, we tend to have a good supply on hand for our customers. We like to lay it out so we've got, say, medications, feeds, things like that all in one spot. And then, of course, you've got your woodenware. We have our 10 frame on one side, our 8 frame on the other. So do you got, find 8 frame is a big sell here locally? We do, because what we're finding, especially in the hobby beekeeping, is the people that are coming in are, it used to be, people in bees were old white men. Now what we're finding is the new people coming in are generally either very young or on the older side, and 50% of them are women. And anybody that's in beekeeping knows there's a lot of weight to, to the hives and the high bodies. So we encourage people that are doing this as a hobby. Make it a fun hobby, don't make it work. So we push them toward an eight frame if they think they can't uh, handle the weight of a 10 frame. And we find that the bees do just as well in, in eight frame equipment as they do in 10 frame. Um, if folks can get in those boxes and are more comfortable working it, there's a good chance that the bees are going to do a little better too. True. They'll go in their hives more often and do what they need to do when they need to do it rather than saying, I don't feel like going out there and lifting that weight today. If it's a comfortable thing, they'll go out and they'll work that hobby and, and you know, have fun with it, which is the whole goal for 90% of the people that are doing the hobby beekeeping side. We've also started expanding our business more toward the ag side as well, where we've got as you can see, we've got live traps here for predators because we've started going into the birds, chickens and turkeys and ducks and guineas and pigeons and pheasants. We've gone into that line of business with our Stromberg line. So now we're carrying all equipment to support that hobby as well. Keeping birds has become uh, extremely popular in the last few years. People are doing it to for nothing more than having their own fresh eggs from a couple of chickens, all the way up to raising their own meat birds. And then we've got the guys who like to get some pheasants to put on their farm to do a little hunting. So there's 
a good mix of people that want birds so we've really expanded that line as you can see we've probably got we're probably the at, at the moment probably the largest selection of uh, poultry supplies as well they do say chicken is the gateway drug <laughs> the next that's thing you know it's bees and then yeah, cows that's, that's and then true it goes we're, on and on and, and on. that was part of our decision to go into this side uh the poultry side because we were finding that if you had poultry you probably wanted bees if you had bees chances were you already had poultry so it was a it was a, a very logical move for us so chicken tractors bulk wire we're carrying all kinds of fencing now up here in northeast pa we certainly have a lot of problems with bears, whether it be in your chickens or whether it's in or your bees. So we've in, added a full line of fence energizers, different fences, whether it be the the movable uh, nylon fences or the high tensile galvanized fence that you put on T posts. What seems to be a big enough charger here for bears? I tell people you don't want to go with something less than one jewel, 1.2. 1.5 that's so i say one at least one joule some of these solar chargers you find are 0.15 it's certainly not big enough to stop a bear especially so, some of the smaller solar chargers yes exactly i was telling them, read what how many joules it puts out yeah. if it puts out a minimum one joule it'll do for bears these gallagher's have been around for a long time i think uh is it australia new I'm zealand not sure but gallagher's are a good charger they're one of my yeah. favorites Kenco makes a good one, Gallagher makes a good one, Parmac makes a good one. Yeah. So. Well, what's your favorite thing here, Frank? Out, outside of uh, your favorite thing, is there a certain product or a certain line that you just kind of resonates more with Frank than anything? Um, no, I like them all. I do birds, I do a lot of bees, I run about 140 colonies okay. as a hobby. So I like everything here. Yeah. I always find that uh, if I need something guaranteed to have it here, it makes my beekeeping or my poultry keeping much easier. Frank, do you manage the colonies out back? I do. Um, I've got right now probably 30 some colonies out there. I haven't been in them yet this year. I heard that the wind blew some over last night and I haven't been out there to okay. fix them yet, but I got to get out there, been too busy. So I'm waiting to get in there the next nice day. I hope to get in and see what I look like coming into spring with those colonies. Any indicators of what this area is looking like right now as far as overwintered? I've heard that it's pretty good so far from the people seeing their hives. They're start, okay. The bees are starting to run out of feed. They're getting near the top of that colony, so a lot of people are coming in and picking up a winter patty or a fondant or yeah. you know putting some dry sugar on there. It's a bit too early for pro sweet, but in another couple of weeks, pro sweet will be the ticket, and we generally sell a lot of that in the springtime. It does a quick buildup of your bees. Okay. Frank, thanks again for taking time to uh, show us around. If folks want to find you guys, they can go to manlake.com manlake.com or you can uh, just show up at 45 Stewart Road, Wilkesbury. We'll take care of you. Wilkesbury. Wilkesbury. You heard it here first. Thank you. Greg. Thanks a lot, Frank. Yep. Bye. Thanks for all your help. Of course. This episode is brought to you by Nature's Image Farm. If you're interested in nukes, packages, queens, or supplies, visit us on the web at naturesimagefarm.com. Well, that was a really fun trip. We got everything we needed. We got some pollen cell. We got some soft patties. We got a couple totes of pro sweet, even a little hive alive thing. We're going to mix a bunch of things up, do a bunch of little different trials. Maybe we'll do some pollen sub trials, some one year old Ultra B stuff with some brand new Ultra B stuff, homemade patties versus uh, the pre boxed patties. Um, so I think we did pretty good. Also, maybe we'll do some fun stuff with some mating nukes trial out some different sizes and see what kind of queen quality you have, how long it takes for them to plug out. Who knows? Just a bunch of fun stuff. But we're on the way back home and I am starving uh, and we need fuel. Susie has me on this keto diet, but if you don't tell her, I don't think she watches these videos. I'm going to run into the Sheets gas station and get something that I've got a little bit of a well, weakness for. That, well, Oh man, look at the price of fuel. Check this out. Look at that. 545 for diesel. Is that crazy or what? Today I actually seen it for 591. 591.
that's just nuts. It's getting harder and harder for those small guys to really make things work. Uh, if you are looking to support somebody, find somebody local, support that local business. Now more than ever, they're really dependent on you. I know we are, we appreciate you guys. I'm gonna run in here and, and get me a little something to eat. Okay, what's it gonna be? What is my weakness? about they don't have them anymore where's those tacos 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 no tacos need more time no i need them dang tacos okay maybe there's been some kind of terrible misunderstanding oh man that's terrible well, I guess we're gonna go with quesarito. How about with, um, oh, I'm not even in the mood now. I don't even know what to pick here. Well, that's terrible. No tacos, I'm trying to be sneaky. No tacos. I guess we're gonna have to settle for it. That'll do. Yeah. Thanks. Well, you didn't come here to watch a hot dog eating contest. Maybe tacos, but sadly to disappoint you, but no tacos, dang it. Well, we're gonna get back in the truck. We're gonna eat this dinner. We're gonna get on the rest of the road. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, remember, be the lighthouse and be the change you wanna see in this world. We'll see you next time. Hey, can you help us out? Hit like, subscribe, share with all your friends, and be sure to check these great videos out too.